guys, I have a review today for you of a palette. So something a little bit different. I haven't done one of these for ages, so I'm gonna be trying to do more review videos over the next few months. Um, just because I know, I've been conscious that I haven't really done many of them recently. I think if you look at most of my videos, they're like favorites videos. That's about it. <laughs> favorites videos and tags, so yes. So anyway, um, this little beauty I had for Christmas um, from my sister-in-law and it's the Wild About Beauty Palette. Oh look you can see the camera reflection, hello! Um, yeah and basically this is Louise Redknapp's um, makeup brand and Louise Redknapp if you don't know she was in Eternal and her she married um, Jamie Redknapp who's a footballer and I think Harry Redknapp's his dad. I'm not, I don't really do football so I don't well, I don't do football at all, so I don't know, but um, basically this is like a really nice palette to get to try some of their products. So you get a nice big mirror in it and you get uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight products. So the bottom four, you've got there the colours, they are eyeshadows. Um, and if I do this the other way, I can tell you what the eyeshadows are. So you've got Rowan and Heather. So Heather is obviously the, the purple colour here. And then you've got... Jodie and then you've got Polly and then for the blushes here you have, no not blushes, these are lip glosses sorry, you have Lynn and Lua Bella, the blusher is called Molly and the um, highlighter, this one here which is a cream highlighter is the Ultra Dewy Glow Stick in Winston. So what I'll do is I'll swatch them for you as well. So um, I'll just start with the top row, so this colour here is kind of like it really reminds me of the Cinnamon Sugar shade, which is in the Too Faced Shadow Bonbons palette. It's a similar colour, it's kind of like a, a warm, beigey, gold sort of colour. Um, which, I'll tell you what, I will swatch it onto my finger and you can have a look there. It is a really, really, really pretty colour and it's not focusing on it. Come on, focus. Hello, there you go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, really, really, really pretty colour and you can see it's, it's quite a light colour. It's really nice to use as a base for all over your lid um, or if you want to go for... What is really nice to do is if you put like a very light um, matte kind of just like an off-white shade on your lid and work that through like the outer half and then into the crease it can give a really nice look as well with like really um, dramatic eyeliner. <clears throat> Excuse me, the colour beneath it, the dark brown there is... What one's this one called? Um, this one is a Polly, which is that colour there. If it will focus, is it going to focus? I'm going to hide away from it so it focuses. Maybe it will focus if we do that. There we go. Um, beautiful kind of shimmery brown colour. Really, really, really lovely. Obviously those two go really well together and that's kind of how it's designed. So you can see the two together there. Very, 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 very pretty. Um, and then next I will do the Heather, which is the purpley shade, which is, it's got like, um, I would say it's like a satin finish. Um, it's got a, a small kind of, uh, is it a bluish? It's like another purple running through it. It's like, it's like, a, I suppose it's like a duo kind of colour. Okay, so it's that shade there. So it's this really pretty purple. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to focus for you, but there, yeah, it's focused, lovely. Beautiful purple, I'll put it next to the brown. It's not very good at swatching to put from finger onto hand. It doesn't really do it justice, I will say, but it's that colour there, so it's that one. Um, but it looks much nicer when you put it on your lid, and it's a lot stronger. It's just not, you know, transferring from there to my finger to there. Um, and then finally the green one, which is called Jodie. I just stuck my finger in the lip gloss. Not ideal. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's so pretty, this green. It's really dark and deep. And I've put it on a finger, which is going to be really hard to show you because I can't really bend it. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful green. And I will put that next to it as well. This one transfers really well. This one's really dark. So you've got the green, the purple, the darker brown, the lighter brown there. I appreciate they don't necessarily look amazing on the back of my hand, but from um, the finger swatches, they're they're beautiful. They're really well pigmented. They're not too dry, but they're not. I wouldn't describe them as a creamy eyeshadow. Um, I know they're not a cream eyeshadow, but they're not particularly creamy. Like I know some of the Urban Decay ones can be very creamy, um, whereas these I'd say would be more dry than that. But that's 
not to say that they're super dry, but on the spectrum that's where I would place them. Um, the blusher, I will put that on my little finger. It is very, very pretty. It's kind of like a peach corally sort of shade. Um, I'll just swatch that underneath them. So there you go, so it's there. Very, very, very pretty colour. Um, I've, I've worn this blusher a lot actually since I've had it at Christmas. Um, I will use my Kabuki brush to go with it and um, it, it gives a really beautiful glow. It's a really soft, like I said, it's like a soft corally colour. Really, really pretty. Um, I would say, this may be quite dramatic me saying this and I may be wrong, but I would say it would suit most skin tones as well. Um, I can see it looking really nice on darker skin and the, it adds a beautiful flesh of colour on lighter skin as well. So, um, yeah, tell me if I'm wrong. I may be wrong, but I can see it working for lots of different skin tones anyway. Um, the highlighter is really pretty. I, it, like I said, it's a cream highlighter. Um, so you can see it on the finger there, if it will focus. It's trying to focus on my eyes. There we go. Um, and I will just swatch that underneath the blusher. So I don't know how well this is going to pick it up because it's quite bright in here at the moment. Um, but, oh yeah, it started to pick it up then, didn't it? Yeah, there you go, you can see it there. Very, very pretty. Um, it works, it blends really nicely with the foundation you'll be wearing underneath if you just kind of work it around here. Looks really, really, really pretty. And it lasts really well. Um, it, I haven't found that it's like melted or anything, which cream stuff can do for me. I haven't found that's happened. It's really good. And then the two glosses, I'm just going to put straight on my hand because it's going to be easier to show you. So the left one, which is, um, it's a multi-purpose tint, which is Lynn. And I'll just swatch that there. And then the other one is a neutral lips gloss, which is the one that's in the shade Luabella, which is that one there. You can tell that one's more the gloss because it's um it's softer. The one thing I don't like, not this palette, but with other palettes that have gloss in them, sometimes you put your finger in it and it just like squidges out everywhere. Um, which, yeah, this one is it's kind of like a harder form formulation gloss. There we go. So it's this one here is the tint, that one there is the gloss. So the one on the bottom of your screen is the tint and the top is the gloss. So you can see they're very pretty colours. One thing I really like about this palette is you could easily, this is like, you could wear any of these eyeshadows really. You can create a look out of them like the two browns or you could do the um, like the two top colours together. That could look really nice working the purple through the creeks for example. Um, the blush and the highlights will work really well together and like I said I think, I think it's fair to say you could get those to work uh, with pretty much any skin tone. And the two glosses are quite neutral so again you you don't you know you can do sort of heavy eyes and not sort of worry about that they're just going to add just a soft flush of color to the to the lips and um and yeah and again i would say any skin tone could wear them whatsoever you know they're they're really good like that um as for how well that they last they last really well i wore them all christmas day i only applied it two maybe three times and that's with eating christmas lunch so i found the really good quality um i really uh, I can't say enough good things about this. One thing I really like about the blusher is it is quite matte as well. There's not a lot of shimmer in it. Um, if anything, I would say it's got a soft satin finish with a, maybe tiny little bits of uh, like gold glitter. Um, if I put it up to the camera, I doubt the camera will pick it up, but we'll see if it will. So it just needs to focus. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it's picking it up, because it is very fine, it's almost hard to see with a naked eye anyway. Um, but yeah, but this is a, it's a really fantastic kit, I really like it. Um, I've been wearing it a lot since Christmas. Um, it's it's a really, really, really nice kit. Um, I'm really pleased with it, um, so very thankful to my sister-in-law who bought it for me for Christmas. Um, I also really like the packaging, because it's kind of like this maroony purple colour, which, I love purple, um, and it's just sort of got this black writing on it and it's like, oh, they're like ladybugs and butterflies and stuff on, on it in the corner in the black. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really pretty. Um, yeah, so really like it. And also, it's worth noting, they're paraben-free as well. Um, 
I think with most of their products they they try to be as natural as possible. So this one, it says they're paraben and petrochemical free. It's nice to know that these are paraben free. Um, but there we go. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know if you've got any of their products and what you think of them, if you've liked them, because I really like this. Um, it's worked really well for me and I really enjoy it and I've been using it a lot over the last month. So yeah, really, really, really like it. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this long, long video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss any of my future videos. But thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.